In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I cut and slice a pear and pack it in a snack box or inside of a lunchbox. Hey, I'm Laura and on this channel I share lots of school lunch ideas that I've packed for my kids over the years and all the tips to keeping those foods fresh in the lunchbox, as well as some of our family's favorite meals. If that's your jam, hit that red subscribe button because you and I could cook together a few times a week. So pears, pears are super nutritious, they have vitamins, but most importantly, they're sweet and they have a lot of fiber. So being fiber rich is great to add into the snack box. And if you want to prevent your pears from getting slimy and all smushy, I'm gonna show you how. First, I should tell you that I try not to pack pears inside of a zip bag because pears have a lot of moisture, so they'll release juice over time, and then they get soggy, they brown, they tend to not be as appetizing. And that's why I typically pack them inside of a sturdy snack box container or directly inside of a lunchbox like in this lunch right here. First things first, let's head over to the sink and wash our pears under warm soapy water. I like to give this a good, good wash and rinse it well until I feel like the outside, the skin is nice and clean. And then I just take it into a kitchen towel and pat dry it and bring it back. To cut pears, you could use a large knife or a smaller paring knife for the job. What I do is I just stand my pear upright and then I cut around the core, kind of leaving a middle square like this. And once I've cut the pear all the way around and have a square core, I take each piece and slice it into the size that I need. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to give this a thumbs up so I know to make more of them on my channel for you. Now you can cut these into bigger pieces that they can snack on, but if you want to cut pears into thin slices, I like to place my pear flat side down and just cut it lengthwise into the thinness that I need. Now I do have another video showing you how to prevent pears from browning, similar to how to prevent apples from browning, but they usually last quite a bit. You can also sprinkle them with some cinnamon on top and that covers any browning that may happen. Be sure to check the description box below for lots of fun school lunch ideas and other helpful videos. See you next time.